Hello, Jane Gill here and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the new bubble die and the older bubble die to create some fantastic shapes to go into my new bubble range of stamps. Here are the two dies. This is the new one so you can see the circles are much bigger. This is the older one that came out a few months ago but they still work together on my new stamps for Christmas. This is how easy it is to create these lovely shapes. So you're going to take these two dies and die cut some pattern papers, coloured paper, or even make your own coloured paper. Let me show you how. So what I tend to do is cut out strips of white card. This happens to be the Creative Expression Smooth White Card. And you can colour them, any, anything you like. Here I've coloured it with a, a purple ink and you can see I've already started to die cut the circles out of it so you get quite a lot out of a, of a, um, a strip. Here's another one ready to cut out, lovely red, done that with some ink. And you can use all sorts of different kinds of ink. You can use the Cosmic Shimmer Botanical Stains by Sam Poole. You can use the Cosmic Shimmer Intense Pigment Stains. These are lovely by the way. The Cosmic Shimmer Watercolour Ink will work really well. You can use the Cosmic Shimmer Colour Cloud Blending Ink. Very easy to do. You can colour in with an alcohol pen. And you can also use the Watercolour Palette by Cosmic Shimmer. It will give a lovely shimmer to your finished artwork. But there's lots of other things you can use to colour your card as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to die cut some shapes just like I've done here. And it's best to put this through your machine with the die upmost with the um, coloured paper on top of it and it gives a better shape. So that's how you do that. And I've got a great pile of die cut shapes here and different colours and I'm going to show you how easy it is to shape them. What you'll need is various different embossing tools and here I've got one with a smaller head, a medium head, and I have another one here with a larger head. The larger one is for the bigger shapes, and I use the medium one for all the other shapes is fine. Little one, don't use so much, but it's still really useful to have. I also find a pair of tweezers and some sort of pokey tool quite handy when I'm making my cards. So let's have a go. What you're going to do, you're going to put them all onto the moulding mat. It's got a dense foam and it allows you to um, shape the, the bits of die cut circles beautifully to create little cup shapes ready to go onto your card. So you're going to place your die cut circle colour side down and you're going to start with the edge. Hang on, I've got a little bit of, um, a little bit dry at the moment. Round the edge, spiralling towards the middle, getting faster and faster and faster and ending in the middle. Let me show you that again with a different size. Round the edge, pressing down into the mat, spiraling towards the middle, getting faster and faster and faster to create that little cup shape. So you can see now that they sit proud of the flat surface. And you can do that with all your shapes. But what you can do is you can stamp those before you shape them. And you can use a range of my um, bubble toppers. This one is the, the small tops. Then we have the medium tops. And then we have the large tops. And all of these can be stamped onto the sizes on the new die. Here's an idea of a stamp set, which I've already stamped. So you can see that the larger one fits inside that circle and there's the medium one, and so on. You don't have to shape them, you can stick them all flat if you prefer. Looks just as good, so they fit whether they're shaped or whether they're stuck down flat. And you can stick them down with anything from glossy accents, mini mounting pads, or some uh, silicone glue. I prefer silicone glue, but I've been using the pads with a little bit of glossy accents works a treat. Let me show you an example of what it looks like when it's finished. So this one, for instance, 
I've coloured all the bubbles with an alcohol pen and then I've stamped images from the sets directly on top of the alcohol pens within the circles. That's quite flat. This one here has done with Pixie Sparkles. Coloured those in with Pixie Sparkles, works beautifully. A little highlight of white pen to create that little shine. So you've got a lovely uh, glittery look. This one here, I have die cut all the circles and I've coloured them with Colour Cloud. And I have stamped the images from the sets. So you can see that I've got here, I've got a greeting there from here and I've used the presents from the small ones on here to fit inside the different size circles. That's my favourite way of doing it. And you can see how round they are, what a difference they make from being completely flat to being rounded. So you've got a fantastic choice of different finishes. And here's one I did with pattern papers. So you don't have to colour your papers or stamp them. You can just use pattern papers like I have here. Choose some, uh, some designs that are quite small, die cut them in the usual way with the, with the pattern side down on top of the die and then you can shape them just as before. So I hope you have fun using my new dies and my new stamps and I look forward to seeing your samples and some of your cards. Thank you for watching.